Empowerment to Knowledge and Serena Stone present the Tequila Drinker's Guide to Health and Wellness radio show with your host, medical Qigong author, practitioner, and educator, Serena Stone, featuring the director of the Universal Healing Tao Medical Qigong System, Master Montak Chia. Welcome back to another episode of the Tequila Drinker's Guide to Health and Wellness. I'm Serena Stone, and uh, today we have with us the creator, the director, the master instructor for Universal Healing Dao System, uh, Master Montak Chia. Actually, Grandmaster Montak Chia. <laughs> Say hello to your audience. Hello, hi. <laughs> <laughs> So the last time we visited, I promised our listeners that we would talk a little bit more about a particular practice called the inner smile. And, and listeners, I want you to understand something. Um, Master Chia does what, one or two world tours a year. I just think about it and it makes me tired, by the way. <laughs> okay? And I'm a lot younger than you are. Yeah. Um, Master Chia, one of the things that you teach every single time, mm -hmm. no matter what country and what language, is um, a foundation practice from your universal healing Tao yeah. system called the inner smile and the six healing sounds. So, and the microcosmic. And the microcosmic. Yeah. Why don't we actually take our time today mm -hmm. and let's break it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think my first question, Master Chia, is why? The um, the whole key is that we have three big and uh, major part. Number one, we call back to the body wisdom. Number two, we call um, emotional wisdom. Okay. Number three, we call uh, Tao's uh, born again process. Okay. okay. It's a very important part in the Taoism is opening the orbit of energy in a circulation. And the Tao believe that you born with it, but later on we forgot it and it block. So that's why we call a Tao's born again process. And that's why <laughs> we call the microcosmic orbit. Wait a minute. Do you, you do know born again like you know, in Catholicism? Yes, okay. because <laughs> this one, that's why I, uh, this one is using in China at least written down 6,000 years. So it's way beyond any, any way that we do. Uh -huh. Because 6,000 years, they are already written down in the Tao text, a Taoist born again process. So oh, okay. it's been, been used for a long, long time. It's only that, um, why? Because this is how you are completing the energy we call a small heavenly cycle. Okay? A cycle that makes you in touch with the earth and the heaven. And that's why it's important. That would be very balancing. Yeah. Yes. Now, the, the, so the first step we we'll are be talking about back to the body wisdom. And the, the whole key is that you have to turn inwardly because we are so much outwardly. And they are all the business, all the all the the emotional, all the technology, everything bring our mind too much out. And sometimes you go to a religious, the same. We are so busy, and now they put us in a statue, in the in the temple, in the in the in the chanting, in the outside again. You know. So oftentimes people from one way outside and coming another way outside. Right. Because we our mind, but if you are, if you believe that our brain function is connecting the organs, so that's why the Taoism talking so much about turn inwardly and smile to your heart, turn inwardly, smile to the the spleen, pancreas, stomach. This is the the image, but this is your own your own organ, and in in the olden time, few thousand years. The China, they don't have a very good picture of the organs. Okay. The drawing is a terrible, like leaves, like all these things, <laughs> look very funny. But they know that, hey, something is inside me. So that's why in the Tao said, your 
your body like temple and your the organ like uh, the spirit and it's a place where all your spirit organ and soul are stay so the organ is the way so body and organ is very important so instead of mm. focusing on the statue outside yes we focus on the internal because there is your own statue yeah your own soul and spirit is stay inside there and the most important part in the Tao said if you focus and make your own organ good it's just like you your temple are fixing nice good people come a lot of time the organ are so weak it's just like temple the roof is have a big hole the door is all leaking out and everywhere because the organ are, 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 are so so weak and so sick but we never take care of it we spend all the money making all this kind of big outside temple and that's what jesus buddha always say your body is a temple of god that's true. Okay. And but uh, well, we, we never do that. <laughs> we so, never do anything. So you think with it. this is what they meant? Yes. That because that is why we can back to the body. You back to yourself. But the whole key about nowadays, the anatomy is so good. Yeah. And now people see the importance of people that need to know the organs. They make a free anatomy. Yeah. You see? Oh, look at download free in the app. Uh, the internet. <laughs> internet is free. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. And, and now I even tell my students, mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm one of Master Chia's students and I became a teacher. I always tell people, look, if you don't know where your spleen is, just mm. please Google it. <laughs> yeah, Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So, so let's go back to this. So now, uh, I think it's interesting, <clears throat> Master Chia, it doesn't matter if you're in China, Europe, uh, hey, what, North you the same America. Organs? <laughs> you, right. So yeah. you were teaching three practices to every country. Yes. That's why I wanted to talk and about I this. I think that is people really need it because people nowadays, the biggest problem we have either way in and out, in the worldly, in the religious way, we um, ignore our own body, yeah. ignore our own organs. But the organ is the one that, you know, in the West, you have to... You know, in the West, you have, for example, you have to have so many specialists. Yeah. You have a liver specialist, you have a heart specialist, a kidney specialist. Specialist is not easy to come by. Well, and don't forget your plastic surgeon. Okay? Yes. <laughs> that is another <laughs> specialist. Because when everything else falls apart, then you just <laughs> cut it off and fix it. <laughs> yeah. But, but the whole key is that in the Tao, we live that if you take care of your organ, your organ can last 120 years. Or, or, or more than that now. We know now the organ can last much longer than that. Okay? But now we are ignore them and we take the one that are controlling the the organs, recreating the organ, make the organ work fu uh, functionally well. Oh, you get the, the, the general, uh, a commander in chief out to, to do other things but not do to control their own army, your own, their own thing. We get big trouble for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So w this this practice, mm. this inner smile practice. Uh, my experience when I've seen you mm -hmm. give these seminars, even if they're just one or two days, mm -hmm. the people seem to walk away with a real practice. Yes. I mean, they actually know how to do it. You're giving them like. It, this isn't that complicated, I guess yeah. is what I'm saying. Are, it just might be the organ. <laughs> yeah. The only one thing they have to do is just know how the heart look like, know how the, the spleen, pancreas, stomach look like, that's it. And the liver, gallbladder, kidney look like, that's it. And you hold the image. It's the same thing like we are, we're holding the statue image and, and uh, all kind of things the same. Yeah. So um, sometimes uh, my students, and, and I've heard your students say the same, um, they, they get a little bit confused and they wonder if they're doing their practice mm -hmm. right and they get into their head mm -hmm. a lot. Um, I've heard you say what you just said before, just, you can't do it wrong, just smile. Yeah, and you hold, <laughs> for example, now we, we say, okay, you side to the, smile to the heart, you know you have a heart and you know how the heart look like and you know the, so the whole key, number one, know the location. Okay. There is the heart, okay, in the chest. And number two, know how the heart look like. 
and you, t you turn your mind smiling down into the heart and hold the image of the heart. You're never wrong. That's okay? brilliant. You're never wrong. You cannot be wrong. And, uh, and the heart, we said, okay, and later on you learn that the heart responsible, uh, 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 respond to the red light, the heart respond to the love, joy, happiness, and the heart, uh, 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 so that is how this emotional energy that we want to understand. So we want the red light, we want the love, joy, happiness in the heart. That is the major key. So if we have love, joy, happiness, hatred, impatience, hastiness have less room to grow. Otherwise, people can be too much hatred. It took over the whole heart. All right, yeah. now at some point you tend, you add the six healing sounds. Now there's the sounds, mm -hmm. which I, well, I understand. But I'd like you to explain to our listeners a little mm -hmm. bit about these postures. Mm -hmm. there, and I've watched you teach it. There, mm -hmm. there actually is a correct way mm -hmm. to do a posture for heart, lungs, mm -hmm. liver, kidneys, spleen, pancreas. What are we doing? Why are we adding these postures? Because the posture is the way that uh, activate the organ and the meridians of that the, the organ energy. That's how the, suppose the lung starts, we're opening the lung and we're opening the meridian of the lungs. By okay. stretching the and, body. Uh, and also when you opening this, your lung is open. That's sure. why, that's why the, the, the same thing like the kidney side, when we hold the knee and we fatten down the stomach, press against the kidney and we activate the kidney. So that's why the kidney sound. So that every posture they have a certain way of opening their organs. Okay, yeah. so when you say meridian, you're talking like an acupuncturist. Yes, Chinese and the actually organ also. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this mm. is going to help uh, energize. Yeah, energize. Like you're opening the liver out and you press, you see, on the right hand side the liver under the ribcage, so you press you feel, you activate the liver and you focus more in the liver. Okay. The same thing in the heart, when you press it up, you activate the heart part. So you feel the hey, I'm stretching the heart, I am aware and conscious about my heart. Okay. So you're ba basically, when we add our six healing sounds, mm. we are we're taking it just to a deeper level by physically right. moving the body because you can't sit the, forever. Right, you you physical moving the body and you are aware of the organs and they have, and the Tao believe that the sound actually when the Tao master sit very quiet to one level, they they hear the organ healthy organ sound and that's how they discover this sound. The, si the six healing right. sound. Oh. Actually the organ healthy sound. That's and wonderful. I, I the always, vibration. I always tell my students mm. you can alter your sound uh, vocal or sub vocal yeah. right. but you keep working on it until you actually feel the organ right. like vibrating and, right. and waking mm. up. And the color is important. Yeah. Emotional is important. The whole key is that uh, uh, hold that way we like to talk about balancing we're not talking about okay uh, negative is seen bad not good we need to get rid of it so so we're creating a we call it the devil and God so now we have to fight the war that's but in the dark we say uh, in the dark we say hey God and devil don't fight but they come into more harmony together because the world have to be have negative and positive yeah yin and yang i uh yes we can hear it <laughs> we're we're here at master chia's house and they're building something behind us but it's okay this is just the sound of dao garden it's all right um, i wanted to share something of the, your dao idea of god and the devil i remember a long time ago reading a story mm -hmm. about a man sitting in a pub in mm -hmm. England, right? In England, they have so mm -hmm. many pubs, right? And he was listening to two men sitting at the table next to him. And one of them said, but I'm so tired. I just don't want to do this job anymore. Mm -hmm. And this other man said, no, I still need you. You're very important. And by the end of the conversation, you realize you're listening to God and the devil. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, I'm sorry, devil, but we're not quite done mm -hmm. uh, 
raising up the spirits of mankind yet. I still need you to be very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Anna. Uh, yeah, the whole Tao is way because we don't talk about devil and God, but we talk about a balancing. We need acid and we need alkali to be balanced. We need the earth, the soil have to be acid, alkali to be balancing, pH balance. The water, the soil, everything in the world had to be pH balanced. That is the major key. And I know that that inner smile, six healing sounds, mm. makes a big difference. Uh, before we finish this off, I just, I have heard you speak a number of times about the importance of the orbit, how the universe orbits mm -hmm. and our cells orbit. The last thing that you teach to everybody in mm -hmm. every country is that microcosmic orbit. And listeners, um, go to Master Chia's website. I, I know you have that lesson on there. Mm -hmm. I know there's an audio of mm -hmm. you, but uh, it's better to really go to a workshop. So uh, go to uh, mantakchia.com. Not come, yes. Yeah. And or YouTube also can. YouTube, mm -hmm. okay. So I just w um, we're going to listen to Master Chia speak about the third practice, uh, this microcosmic orbit, but in particular, the importance of keeping energy moving. What is a spiral? Because everything have to be circulation. I mean, in the human, we have know the heart have also circulation, the blood. Uh, in our spine, the spark of fluid have to be flow. The brain activated, the sacrum, crani sacrum pump activated, the cranial pump activated. So everything have to be circulation. Now in uh, uh, in this world, we know that the moon spin in the orbit around the, the earth. Mm -hmm. If one day, it, it, so, so when in an in a orbit, we call a no beginning and no end, okay? Okay. But if we are running in one straight line, the end of it. It's the same thing if the moon running one straight line, we, we lose the moon. <laughs> all the women For don't sure. have menstruation anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and all the marine life not lay egg anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it makes me laugh. What would life be like if there was no circles? <laughs> yeah. So now the earth spinning in a circle around the sun. If, so we have four seasons, we have all kind of, and it, it round and round and round and round. And how long? Turning in the orbit, how long? Five billion years. Right. I never stop. So that's how we can be survive here. But if the Earth one day say I'm flared up or running in a circle, I want the one straight line. <laughs> we, we all die. <laughs> we all finish. No more circle. We all burn out. We all dry out. All freeze to death. Or all burn to death. That's yeah. it. So that's why now you see the universe. Everything in in orbit. And inside us, in the Tao, we live that you're born with our energy are moving from the coccyx all the way up to the spinal cord, to the crowd, passing all the gland system to the brain and coming down to the nostril, to your, pa to your palate, down the tongue, down the throat, to the thyroid, parathyroid, to the heart center, to the solar plexus, and to the navel. And now it's in, and down to the perineum become our orbit. Now, wait a second. Mm. Yeah. What's in that orbit? You're, th you're talking about inside the body. Yes. So tell our listeners, what are they circulating in that orbit? So there is a, we, call, we believe that two energy, one yin and one yang energy. Ah. So when they are moving, they are balancing each other. Okay. And they harmony each other. So we said the yin push against the yang, and the yang push against the yin. And the most important part of the whole thing about yin yang moving is nobody win and nobody lose. Well, that's very unusual yeah. concept. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because if the yin say, I, I fed up of, of the yang, I want to kick you away, now there's no more yin Aww. and yang moving. Aww, then <laughs> if the yang is very unhappy. <laughs> yeah, when the yang say, I'm going to kick you away, we finish. Yeah. Okay. And now in the Tao, they discover that after we, we feel if we can sit and feel all the energy around us are moving, the energy inside of us moving. Now they discover that hey, they discover that the more energy in the body and in the organs, and now we know that every organ have cells, every cell have atom, and every atom have electron and proton. Electron are spinning in orbit, yeah. tiny little orbit. So so now we know that. 
we have electron we have so many cells and we every cell have many atoms depending on what organs what cell and every cell every atom have electron so you put them together we have electron more than the star in the space I mean a lot of electrons that's a lot of electron. inside the body that's, spinning that's in a orbit. lot of spiral your spiral and orbit are spinning and creating and generate electricity chi I'm energy just gonna say us. just when you just speak mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. I become aware I am a machine creating, creating energy. energy that is the electron and orbit no electron wow. no orbit nothing but the doubt believe that when we spin the orbit a bigger orbit and we tap in the universal orbit universal orbit everywhere Jeez. okay so when we tap in the outside orbit it affecting the inside orbit and affect our electron that's why the healing doubt can heal people because this is the energy yeah and and if you're working with energy you're never wrong and it doesn't really matter what gender, doesn't matter what country, it doesn't even matter the Everybody age. Everybody have cell and yeah. electron. <laughs> so of course you would pick this very important practice to teach us to circulate yes. our energy consciously. Right. And I, I, I'll finish this off because this, this actually this interview is going a little bit long, <laughs> mm -hmm. but he, I wanted to hear everything. Um, one of the things I like about this microcosmic orbit is it helps me to uh, so easily store my chi mm -hmm. when I'm done because I just feel like I can drop my energy down to the Dantian, mm -hmm. right the, below the navel, folks, look it up. Um, and it, it just, whew, this microcosmic mm -hmm. orbit just sets my right. energy. I, so easy yeah the Tao always very concerned about the lower dantian them in the abdominal now the west discovered they call the 79 organs what number 79 organs okay and that is the brain the abdominal brain and they discovered this only uh, last year so only that mean they, they know it's a long time but now they prove that it's 79 organ because the dantian the abdominal area we call digestion absorption elimination that's important there is a whole organs and that the Tao know that this is a Tantian because this Tantian the construction of the digestion and absorption they exactly like the construction of a battery because the negative positive that is how the the intestine the whole digestion exhaustion they like battery so they can store energy that's what the West discovered that. But the Chinese we know that, so that's why we're very concerned about when you have energy, you bring it down, you can store energy there. And all the people that come to me when they are we call fatigue syndrome. Mm -hmm. The digestion gone. Yeah. Oh that's that means the battery cannot store energy anymore. Okay, so so this gives me a really good idea for our next uh, show. I think we should talk about some of the things next time that like get our digestion stuck. Mm -hmm. And I love the I love to listen to you talk about liver mm -hmm. and why we drink water at night mm -hmm. and the sewer system. Yeah. Da, da, da. So folks, um, come back in a week or two and listen as Master Muntak Chia is going to d tell you why uh, digestion is important, liver function is important, and what role water is going to play in that. So thanks for coming, boys and girls, and we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Thank you for joining us on another Empowerment Through Knowledge adventure. Want to learn more? Find Master Chia at montakchia.com. That's M-A-N-T-A-K-C-H-I-A.com. Find more medical Qigong lessons, books, and information about studying directly with Serena at serenastone.com. S-A-R-I-N-A-S-T-O-N-E.com. Thanks for listening. If you like what you learned, subscribe today.